Hi, I'm Liu Batchelor and I am the founder and creator of TEDx Folkestone. It's a chilly February morning and it is coming up to 11 o'clock. I am just about to jump on the train to head up to London for the TEDx UK organizers event. About to jump on the train now, go meet Adam Henderson, who is our program manager, who's going to be joining me for this event today. Yeah, very well. Very good, well. good. And how are you feeling about this event today? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it actually. It's my first sort of proper TED event as, uh, as a member of the TEDx Focus and Team officially. Mm -hmm. uh, and being on the other side, so it's going to be good. So yeah, yeah I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, because you've been involved from the start, haven't you, really? But as a, you've seen the full spectrum of the whole lot as a speaker, then as a speaker selection team, and then now. Yeah. Big Chief as the programme oh, director. How, you what know. do you call yourself? Wow, you know, a bit of this, a bit of that. <laughs> yeah. We're British after all, we've got too arrogant, haven't we? Yeah. So, and we're trying to make TEDx focus in 2019 the best one yet. Yes, so exactly. that's the brief. Until we get to 2020. Uh, yeah, and then, and then, then that will be the best yeah, one. Of course. But, you know. That's what I'm looking forward to about today is getting some new ideas because I think we've done some really good stuff in the first three years, but also seeing how unique and different our event is to other events. So. I think we're going to get some really different ideas and different approaches because we all get the same set of rules, don't we? But yep. everyone seems to interpret them really differently. Big things to come. Yes, and a coffee. <laughs> yeah, always got to start with a coffee. When, when TEDx Folkestone came to London, yeah. spot us the tourists with a camera out looking at selfie sticks. Oh, isn't it amazing? Oh my god! London! Woo! It's a red bus! <laughs> wow, this is a nice place. Very fancy. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Job number one. Work out where they're in the right building. Wrong location? It's, it's the wrong Citizen Hex M. It's uh, Citizen M Tower of London and we are meant to be at Citizen M... No, Citizen M. Okay, back out on the street. We're going to have attempt two at getting to Citizen M. Looks like they've got multiple of these Citizen M's around London. Well, a nice little walking tour of London anyway. Look, there's the shard. Oh, I just taken a bit of a dip. <laughs> I bet you're really glad I've got this video on now, aren't you? Fantastic, yeah, <laughs> so pleased. The Tower of London, looking beautiful this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Wounded. So this is where we're going. The other Citizen M with a tube stop right outside, but you know, we've done our step count, haven't we? Yeah. In we go. Right, now we've just got to find those other TEDx organisers, right? I think they're all having lunch. Who's on the seventh floor? Yep. Hi guys. I see a sign. This looks like TEDx organisers event. There we go. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, you? It's totally my fault. We went to the Citizen M bank side. Oh, uh, I do that all the so, time. So, uh, Good name, Mads. There, there we go. How long will that stay on there? <laughs> So yes, thank you very much for coming. My name's Eden Dweck, I'm the Executive Director for TEDx London. So this came about um, around 18 months ago. Claire, Lynn, Mariam and I decided it'd be a great opportunity to bring the whole UK organisers community together. So you know all of us, we've got a great wealth of experience. Um, in May, it will be my 10th TEDx event. So I'm Claire Kennedy, I'm the curator and license holder at TEDx Exeter. And the best thing about a gathering like this is all the stories that get shared, so this is about you. One of the most moving TEDx experiences was this year I worked on the first TEDx event in a refugee camp in northern Kenya. So I'm Lynn from TEDx Covent Garden. I'm Allegra, I am from TEDx NHS. Hi everyone, I'm Adam from TEDx Folkestone. So I'm Tony, um, I'm a first time licensing organiser of TEDx Sherborne which no one knows what that is. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm the uh, curator and life supporter for TEDx London. Hi, I'm Lee Bachelor from TEDx Folkestone. I'm the creator and founder. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm holding a video, we're doing a little behind the scenes about TEDx as a whole and Folkestone. And we'd love you to be in it because, as you've all said, it's an amazing family, an amazing community. And I just want to capture that and get that across and encourage more people to get involved both in Folkestone and TEDx as a whole. So if, anyone, if you want to give a wave, that would be wonderful. Hey! <laughs> Thank you! So, on with the show. 
bit of an update of the TEDx global movement. So there have been 600,000 attendees across TEDx events across the world, which is fantastic. There are 2,900 different organisers and a billion online views on YouTube. And amongst us, we've got the experience of almost 100 events, which I think is pretty awesome. And in the UK, there's been some great models for delivering TEDx events. So you may have seen last year that TEDx Leicester did a salon in a prison. I think that's sort of really amazing and shows how you can take these ideas to different communities who may not normally have access to this sort of fantastic speakers and ideas and content and it just shows sort of the ethos of what TEDx is all about. It's all about ideas worth sharing in every part of society. First workshop, team management and succession planning. Yeah, hey. um, So I'm Amy, I'm the Partnerships Director at TEDx London. I think one of the things I struggle with is maybe that expectation setting of how much work sometimes coming on to TEDx as long as I like a full-time role can be, in that it's like, you do need to work really hard, but then the reward is amazing. Uh, that knowledge share, how do you, with very much succession planning, how do you capture that experience and the knowledge and the nuances of your specific TEDx to other people that can come in? Next workshop is speaker curation. So what we're doing is we're seeking ideas, we're identifying speakers, we're working very, very closely with speakers. We want their talks to stand alone. We ask them to speak to the idea that they're passionate about. Because that idea, that talk has to live online to think about what are the big challenges that are facing us all. Who's approaching them with some degree of optimism or through a new lens? Who can shine a new light on it? And the whole idea, I think, for us, is we want them to inspire us and move us and change us as individuals, change our sense of ourselves, our sense of ourselves within the community, and then, ultimately, that's the ripple effect that creates change in the world. So we're holding that within the curation process. Final session of the day, it's community engagement and impact. It's kind of conversation, discussion, element after, and um, plan will share some stories. But I think about talking about themes around volunteers and activities, things you can do in between events, um, how we can measure impact, Anything else that you'd want to cover that you think comes under this umbrella? It was mentioned in your session, but about curating the audience yeah. a bit more. That's something we've not really looked at. Yeah, diversity, I think, for me, is yes. the key, you know, because I get a feeling that it's a certain type of yeah. that we probably yeah. attract as opposed to a more diverse audience, which would be nice to go out to. Yeah, could be Anish, yeah, tell us any chats, and there's something around approaching people, you know, inviting people to speak, and there's a lot of amazing speakers who get asked to speak a lot of stuff already. What we really, really want to do is tap into those unsung heroes who are doing amazing stuff yeah, in their exactly. local communities, yeah. and how best to get to them. So thank you very much everyone for, for, for coming, I hope you've um, had a great day. Thank you all for coming and thank you to all of our other presenters. My name is Marianne Pasha, I'm the license holder and director and curator for TEDx London and TEDx London Women. Today was fantastic. I love it when the TEDx community comes together and you know, because we spend all year just working so furiously at our events and head down maybe just with our teams and then these events are a chance for us to look up and realise that there are lots of people all around the country and all the world doing what we're doing, facing the same challenges, having the same joys and it's just great to share that. It's been an absolutely awesome day. I am completely overhyped with ideas. I don't really know what to do with myself. I feel so privileged to be a part of this amazing TEDx UK organisers family. So open to sharing ideas, sharing knowledge. It's a wonderful thing. I just want to say a massive thank you to the TEDx London um, organisers, but also all the other TEDxes who have contributed so much. I have just got back into Folkestone Central. I am absolutely exhausted, but I'm looking forward to getting home, getting a good night's sleep, so that tomorrow I can take the ideas back to the team and we can be looking about how we can put them into action for TEDx Folkestone 2019. And I hope you can join us on that journey for how we can bring ideas to life right here in Folkestone.